so hello again as we learned in the previous chapters we learned about the inflectional ending ed which we add to any verb to make it in the past so to say that it happened before in the past so we add ed to a word to tell about something that happened in the past here we have to add ed to each word rock plus ed rocked log plus ed locked <coughs> dash plus ed dashed pick plus ed picked we have to read each sentence here and put the words that we have here in the sentence path locked the hut jan rocked the her pup to sleep sam picked at the dish bob dashed home <clears throat> okay what we have here is <clears throat> here we have to draw so first we have here the word we should add o to make each word then you have to draw it fox you have to draw a fox mop you have to draw a mop Sock, you have to draw a sock, and pot, you have to draw a pot. Write a sentence using one of the words. You have to choose one of these words and put it on uh, a sentence. So, uh, if we choose here fox, uh, we can say that the fox lives the lives in the forest you can choose any word of your choice and put it in a sentence we have here mom mops the floor mop <clears throat> so this is what we call a tub Here in this uh, page, you have to choose the right words and you circle it and you write it here. She tucked him into bed. The dog licked me. We picked apples. They rushed for the bus. Again, here you choose one sentence, write other sentences to tell more about what happened draw a picture to go with your story so here the story she tucked him into bed uh, the dog licked me you can draw a dog and you can choose if you choose sentence number three we picked apple so here after we picked apples, we ate them. Here is the apple tree and here he is picking apples. Okay, so here we have a new lesson which is plural nouns. We add uh, when we have more than one person or place or thing so if we have many things or many persons or many places we add as to the word and we have here a plural noun so if i have one bug it doesn't take as but if i have two bugs i add as this is the plural noun two girls are talking I have two, what? Two girls. I circle girls because I have to circle the plural nouns. The mittens are, are warm. I have mittens, many mittens. Three birds flew away. What do I have? Three birds. Ducks swim in a pond. Who swim? I have ducks and here we have the same 
we have to circle the plural noun. Here you have to guess what it is. If the buses are what? Two buses were at the bus stop. Let's have hot lunches. See the red foxes. Two glasses are going. And here we have example boxes. We add ES. Glasses, we added ES. Bushes, we added ES. And here, bunches, we added ES. Because each one of these words ended with S or SH or this also or X. If the word end with S or these two or X, we have to add ES. Glass ended with S. Box ended with X. Bush ended with SH. And bunches ended with CH. In these four cases, we add ES to the noun to make it in plural. Here you have to match. I see two houses. Where are the houses? You match. The dishes are on the table. Where are the dishes? Here. See the three church churches. We have three churches. Pack the toys in the boxes. Here are the toys. I have two cats. Here are the two cats. There are two foxes. Here are the foxes. And this is it for the plural nouns. I hope you understood it and I hope to do well with your homework. As for a dictation, we have to do uh, the dictation here on page 42. The bath was hot but it was fun try to write it several times before you do it as a dictation and best of luck with everything